Hello world and welcome back, I'm Karhu the Great Bear of the North, this is Empire Total War featuring the Minor Factions Revenge mod, and we are playing as Venice. We've got Venezia, Genoa, Corsica, we've also got uh, Malta, and we've got Southern Italy. Unfortunately what we have lost is, um, is the Morea, all the way over here, um, to a brutal sneak attack by Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. However, we have taken Naples from them. So, all in all, I think it's uh, it's a fair trade for me, to be perfectly honest. And what I'm looking to do right about now is, um, is I'm just looking to consolidate my efforts because um, I'm making about 5,000 per turn, but I haven't really done much of uh, investing in in my infrastructure and my territory recently because I've been so busy worrying about uh, winning a war against the Knights of St. John uh, and, and and later dealing with the traitorous and, and massively armied. Wow, how did they get an army that big? Um, the traitorous and massively armied uh, Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, which actually, you know what, let's see if I can't, um, make peace with anybody. Request peace. Send proposal. No, so they don't, Knights of St. John don't want it. What about Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, eh? Okay, you were gonna reject that too. Technically, I'm also at war with Russia, even though I haven't, we haven't actually gotten into a war at all. Uh, I mean, we haven't gotten into battle at all, but Russia was allied with the Knights of St. John, when I declared war against them, so so we're still technically at war with them, but nothing nothing's really going on right now. So let's see if I can't um, do what I want. Okay, so I've got 1837. Let's start building up my infrastructure. Okay, cobbled roads takes 3,000. What about in Genoa? Uh, how is Genoa doing? That seems pretty good. Ayaccio should be done in two turns in Corsica. Do I have any infrastructure there that I need? Nope. Venice in Malta. How is Malta? Infrastructure, construction. Can't really build anything in Malta right now. And Southern Italy. I will be getting a new town in Southern Italy in one turn. Fantastic. But I do need to start repairing some of these things. Do I want the barracks, or do I want the Royal Observatory? I want the barracks. And then, can I also get the Royal Observatory? Boom. Okay, I'll repair both of those. While also repairing my army, and... I need a general. Because I lost my general in the last battle. Actually, no, are you my general? That's my Croatian horse. But yeah, so that's, that's a brief summary of what is going on. And... Let's see what happens between turns. Alright, I've developed four fields crop rotation, which is fantastic. Before I forget, let's go into that. La Spezia, which is going to be my industrial technology town. Um, I've got all of that. So I'm going to start doing that. What does selective breeding do? Plus six wealth generated by farms. This reduces the cost of farms, the seed planting drill does. What about advanced irrigation? Plus 4% wealth generated by farms, but that's plus 6%. But this also reduces the chance of food shortages. It enables the building of wine estates. And it increases population growth, which is good. Let's do advanced irrigation. There we go, and Verona is researching... Is researching explosive shells. And Aquila is researching utilitarianism. Good, which means next turn I should be able to do, to do a little bit of stuff. But, let us continue. Ooh, I don't want that many generals. Um, yes, I want a general in this army. Oh, it's a three-star general. Boo. Um, the question is, do I attack Rome? Um, okay, let's see. Oh, good, good. I also just got Toronto, right? Where is Toronto? Toronto is this guy. Oh! Oh, that winery needs to be repaired. There we go. Toronto is a very poor port. Local fishery, shipyard, or trading port? I want a trading port to increase my trade routes. 
Yeah, I definitely want that to be a trader. So I need, you know what? Let's un repair that. Let us, oh, I don't even have enough money for that. Okay, yeah, let's continue repairing that. Let me see what's going on. A new port emerges, Toronto in southern Italy. There you go. Just like I said, and local trait gained, a manufacturing owner. And, and where is this guy? He is in, he's in La Spezia. And the Spezia is my industrial technology one. Good, because he just gained a bonus in industrial technology production. See? Plus two points per turn for industrial technologies. Good. Very, very good. But the question I was asking is whether or not I should attack the papacy. The papal states, which would basically, if I were to take them, uh, I would almost complete my my unity of Italy, I would just need uh, Lombardy and Savoy, which can definitely be done, but let's see, if I were to declare, whoops, uh, ooh, I think it'd become a, I think it'd become a protectorate, uh, see, Spain, I don't know which side Spain will join the war in, and if Spain joins, joins the war on the side of the Pope, um, that's very bad for me. That's very, very bad. So let's suggest if they might want to become my protect... No, no, they won't let me become their protectorate. Um, Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, let's request peace. Eventually this is going to work. No. Knights of St. John, request peace. No. Russia. Russia. Request peace. No. That's unfortunate. So I'm allied with Spain. Does anybody else want to ally with me? Maybe Great Britain. Yeah? Hmm? Quest Alliance? No, because they're at war with, I believe, Austria. So I can't do that. Uh, I'm not going to ally with the Ottomans. No, that's silly. Okay, so nothing's going on on that front. Oh, oh. This town is also burning. That's... I need, I need to start dealing with these more often. That's because um, Southern Italy had been rebelling... Because I had taken my troops in here to deal with an actual uprising in the last episode. So I couldn't, um, so they couldn't be used to pacify the people. Although they, I, I, I could start collecting the extra 657 in taxes. But I don't know if I actually want to, to do that. No, I'm going to exempt them from tax. Let the town grow a little bit more. And then we'll, we'll go from there. We will go from there. Um, yeah, let's go for another turn. See what happens. Okay, I've researched utilitarianism, which increases technology research rate, I believe. And that was at L'Aquila. So L'Aquila will get government by consent. No. Physiocracy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that definitely... Let's do that. That will increase my plus my town wealth, and uh, also my wealth generated by farms, which is, which is awesome. Because I have a lot of farms. New port emerges. Ayacho has emerged in Corsica. We'll give that something to do. And uh, one of my guys has... One of the members of my cabinet has developed a... Well, has gained an ancillary. A landscape gardener. Minus one happiness for lower classes. Because they resent the fact that the upper classes have all these fantastic gardens. But the nobility loves those fantastic gardens. And But it costs more to construct farm buildings. Which kind of offsets the benefit that I just gained through researching technology. So let's get another trading port in Ayaccio. Let's no longer exempt them from tax because that because there's no there's no villages left. Right? So that is good. And what else do I want to do? I definitely want to repair this weaver's cottage. And I want to build another trading port there. And can I... Do I not have measuring tools? I thought I had measuring tools. Do, do I not? Yeah, I have measuring tools. I, I just don't have the money, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's why I can't do that. So, that that's another turn of, of not a whole heck of a lot happening. But how how is Naples doing? Can I... I could get an extra 12.52 per turn. Where's Potenza? That's, that's Potenza? Hmm... What's more important? Getting Potenza done in 11 turns? Or that extra 1252? 
I think long-term getting Potenza done is going to be more important than that 1252. So, let's see. Once again, any... No, you're still at war with my bad guy, with, with, with my allies, rather. Knights of St. John just do not want... They, they just don't want to, um... To, to end this war. And, and I mean, they've got Armenia and Mesopotamia, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, to be perfectly honest. But, eh, that's the way it is. Alright, I've developed explosive shells, which is fantastic. I do have a new cabinet. Okay. I, I, I've never really cared too much for cabinets. I mean, um... I live in, a, in, in in Venice, which is a, an oligarchic republic, and so basically I, I don't have much control over the president, who the president is, or who the members of the cabinet are, so I just kind of have to roll with it and, and do the best I can based on what they have. So, uh, good. He's got a sommelier, and there's a new national leader. Yep, I just said that. Trade gained. Somebody just got subterfuge while counter-spying. Actually, I have... Where, where, where is he? Where is my spy? There is my spy. Let us go into... Ah, maybe I want to attack Savoy. Maybe that's what I want to do. Add that to my empire. Let's go into Rome. Let's infiltrate Rome, see what's going on. Hopefully that doesn't annoy them too much, if he does get caught. They do not want them to attack me. Castaway Mariner rescued. Cool. A little bit of history there. Don't really need it. Uh, Verona is currently researching. Verona is my military one. Yes, Verona is definitely my military my military attack. I can get naval shore facilities, which gives a dockyard, which is industrialization. What what increases my ports? Uh there. That improves ship movement. Yeah. Let's research the sextant. Uh okay. So Barracks. Let's get the drill school there. Can I build anything else, or is that really all I can build this turn? That's pretty much all I can build this turn, because I, I, I actually don't have that much money. 3731 monies, because of something dropped somewhere. I don't really know. What can I build here? Uh, let's get an ordnance factory. Oh, it's probably my, my military is now completely replenished, so I'm, I'm, I have to pay more for them in upkeep. Um, but anyways, I, I was thinking, what about Savoy? Savoy is allied with Great Britain. I would declare war in Savoy. That would bring Great Britain into the field. And Great Britain by themselves are really powerful. But if Austria and Spain join me, then then that might help out a little bit, but I, I currently I still need my guys in in Naples in order to to uh, garrison the town to prevent it from from riding and rebelling. Because uh, basically in like twelve turns, seven turns or something like that, once Potenza is 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 developed, I can start to move my guys out of southern Italy. There's also the chance, of course, that uh, that the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies is going to try to break out of the Morea and uh, and attack me. But, I, I don't actually think that's going to happen. But just in case they do, I should probably be recruiting something in my navy. A galley or a light galley. Do I want either of these? Firepower is speed, but they only have like four guns. No, I want bigger ships. So, uh, another couple of turns and we'll see what happens. Okay, this turn... Yeah, Castaway Mariner has been rescued, we already know that. Construction report. Two new trading ports, which means I thought I would have unlocked some more trading partners, but it's because the ports in their regions are are locked. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Let's build something up. Build the ordnance factory. Or I can build a road. 
There we go. That will definitely increase town wealth in the region, which is good. Town wealth is always a good thing. Because the more money you have, the more troops you can you can buy, the more other things you can buy, and it's 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 overall pretty good. But once again, let's just see if I can't. Come on, peace. Come on, peace. Nope. Okay, what about Russia? Come on, peace. Okay, none of that is going to happen. Now what I'm thinking is attacking Savoy. They've got a really big army, but it's mostly militia and provincial cavalry. They're not super great. How do they have that many foreign regiments? I only have two, and they're allowed four? Okay, whatever. But here's the thing. Not only would my my troops in from Naples not be allowed to uh, govern Naples and, and, and reduce disloyalty and foreign occupation and that. But um, there's also Spain gets into the mix. But Spain is currently allied with me against uh, they're at war against Kingdom of the Two Sicilies and I believe the Knights of St. John and but they're also at war with Austria. So my two allies are actually at war with each other. Now if I were to declare war on the Papal States would Spain be able to be allied with me in a war against the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, but also be at war with me? Like, how how does this work? I don't I don't really know. So if you let's I, I I really I really don't know how that works. So and I don't want to risk it because um because getting that wrong and having Spain become a, be at war with me as well would be disastrous. So let's just... No. No, Savoy does not want to become my protectorate. Does anybody want to become my protectorate? Maybe... Maybe... Um... No. No. Okay. Um, let's see, actually. How... What are the armies in... Here. No, I can't even see what the armies are like there. Because maybe I'll start building an expeditionary force that would be able to take take them down. Because I don't need my garrison in here as much, do I? Yeah, I do, actually. Still for now. Because um, my garrison forces are doing 10 here. Actually, I could, I could take them out of southern Italy. I could definitely take them out of southern Italy. Actually, here, let's find out. Let's find, uh, why does that always zoom out weird like that? Let's just bring them out like there. There we go. They're not going to rebel. So, do I want to... Ah, I could take Rome this turn. But I might be risking war with Spain, which I would almost surely lose. Because Spain is, Spain is big and has a lot of money. Because they've got Mexico. They've got Florida. They got New Spain on their side. Maybe, maybe I start taking out. I'll start taking out the the. Ah, uh, what? Who am I thinking of? Uh, the Barbary pirates. So let's take. Let's take this single light galley. And move you over to there. And then I'll get all my guys on this single light. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> Because we get them all in a single light galley, and then that light galley gets attacked for whatever reason, I'm... That's that's not good. So I'm going to just hold this single light galley here for a turn, then load them on, and then hopefully next turn I can dump my troops off in Tunis to make things uh, a little bit better that way. So, oh, 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 what I could do is I could get some things to protect them. Uh, do I want 18... Ooh, 26 guns in a brig. 26 guns in a brig. There we go, there's... Let's get two brigs. And then that will be my ferrying, guys. Why Why do you still have... Oh. You still have an army there. So, so what was that? What was that? Irregular brigands? So let's put my army back there. Let's take all my cavalry... 
Is that all my cavalry? Yeah. Oh, no. There's one more. And we're just going to take you all the way down to here. And then I'm going to take my port. Because that port looks like it's actually kind of important. No pun intended. But we'll take that next turn. And we'll see what happens. This, this right here, is why I'm glad I didn't put all my troops on this single ship. Because the Barbary Pirates saw this lone ship in the Bay of Naples. And they're like, aha! Let's kill it. So... I'm going to auto-resolve this battle because ship battles are, are, are boring and, and not fun. I have 16 men. They have 16 men. This is pretty much an even battle. And and I got defeated. Which I, I'm so glad my guys weren't on that fleet. Because that would have been disastrous. Absolutely disastrous. But I've now developed the physiocracy. And Benigno Luzato has infiltrated Rome, which is good. I can see what their army is <laughs> drummers and a single general i could stomp them if spain weren't in the way pianoforte sure something about opera my fleet has been destroyed but i've recruited a unit in the mediterranean so can i take oh they captured my guy they captured him um so what do i need I need, there's a light galley and a brig. Signore. So let's take half of my troops. Half of my... There we go, half of my fleet, rather. Let's get them there. Let's repair all of that. And that is going to be repaired, and then I'll take him out next turn, if I can. But I also need to Signore. send my guys... Oh, and I can't cross, because this jerk... Is blocking the path. Arr, jerk. Jerky, jerky, jerk, jerk. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Anyways, let's go through my territories one by one and see if I can't build anything. What can I build here? I can build an ordnance factory. Now my infrastructure is being increased. I can increase my infrastructure in Malta. Malta is 3851. 38. Yeah, let's build a road network in Naples. That's, I think, going to have the largest, definitely the largest uh, overall benefit. Yeah. And, yeah, we're repairing my navy there. That navy should be able to take those guys out. And then once these guys are, are repaired, I'll swing them back in. I'll see what is going on. This is... This episode's starting to get a little bit long, but we'll do one or two more turns just so I can hopefully deal with this with this mess before before I end the episode. Okay, um, in between turns, the Pope is actually the one that took care of the the Barbary pirates for me, so that is good. Let us move in. Let's take care of these guys, and I'm actually going to play this battle because I think it might be a little bit of fun just to run down the last of the last bastion of, of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies in the actual original First Sicily. Okay, so with my recruitment, I've taken my Carbineers, I've put them in one group, I've taken my Lancers, put them in a second group, and I'm just going to send my Lancers down on one of them. My Lancers down on one of them. My Carbineers are then going to get involved in the fight as well. My Carbineers are going to get involved in that fight as well. And once my cavalry, actually, no, I want all my cavalry to actually just stand back here. I'm going to let them, the Sicilians, who are for some mind-boggling reason coming after me, um, I'm going to let them get exhausted. Oh, they're stopping. Nope, they're still coming after me. I'm going to let them get exhausted, and then I'm going to charge them down later on. They're debating what they should be doing. My Carbineers have a range of 90. Their Irregulars have a range of 110. Which is not particularly good for me. But, if they stay in the... F if they're there, and they're running... Hmm. Then maybe I could... Are they going to stay in the forest? What's going on? Yeah, they're going to stay in the forest. Just that they can't really... I can't use my my cavalry all that effectively. 
Okay. So then let's let's turn them around. Let's turn my lancers around, and I'm gonna charge them down into the forest. But still, two full 150 ulans against 105 of them, and they're coming out of the forest. If they just come a little bit further forward, nice. So we're just going to rise up above this rise up above this hill. We're going to fast forward a little bit. There we go. They're moving very, very slowly. Oh, now they're going. Charge! That is the worst charge ever. There we go. Just run them down. That was brutal. And they're done. They're done. And I lost two, six men. And their enemy general has been killed. And chase them down. Chase them down. Kill as many guys as you want. Go. Go. They're rebels. They're against the Republic. And everybody that's against the Republic is, is bad, right? At least that's what Star Wars... If Star Wars has taught us anything. It's that people that oppose Republics in exchange for hereditary monarchies, or whatever the empire was, uh, are wrong. There we go, chase him down. That's a little bit more fun. Nine. Eight. Three. Seven. Okay. We're gonna let, the, we're gonna let those guys go. But let's... Let's close down on these guys again. Let's fast forward, because this is mildly silly. Just sitting here and waiting for all of this. Gonna reform up into our... Into our, our, our wedges. And wait for them to march slowly, 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 slowly through the, through the woods. There we go. Slow that down a little bit. There we go. Hopefully they don't, my guys don't charge headlong into this. Hopefully they'll actually go around it. I, I don't know if the AI is smart enough to go around things that are going to kill them. But I certainly hope they do. I really hope they do. There we go. No, you're just going to run headlong into the spikes. Really? You guys, stop. You're dumb. You are so dumb. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was embarrassing. Oh, do they have spikes set up there too? What? I couldn't even see those. Uh -huh. That's my fault. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Oh, well, at least they're both still alive, right? Sort of. Since when can irregulars do that? Is, is that, like, something normally that they do, that they're able to do? Set up defenses like that? Because I totally didn't know they could do that. At all. At all. And that abs that, that's what slaughtered my guys, right there. That and, and this. Like, why did they go around? Why is there that much horse flesh? That is... Uh, I shouldn't have to manually tell them to go around things that kill them. Like, really? Why? Like, that's not even that hard of a pathfinding thing to code, I don't think. But... I mean, I mean maybe I'm wrong? But... But that that's just that's just not right. And Okay, let's get this. Oh yeah. Let's get these Croatian horse. Maybe maybe they can I I don't know. I don't know. Actually no, you're you're just gonna go through that stuff again. So you're going to go around Carboniers are going around. 
There we go. Oh uh, yeah. That's so frustrating. So frustrating. I mean, I understand that it will like hinder battle plans and whatnot, but it shouldn't. They shouldn't be dumb. They shouldn't be suicidal. They shouldn't be completely insane. Oh well. Nope. Go around the spikes. There we go. How'd that work? There we go. That's... That's doing well. They're being attacked in the flank. They're being attacked from the front. That's... That's good. And my guys are... I've lost two in that volley. That's not bad. Four in that volley. How many are they losing per volley? That's many more than two per volley. Yeah, because they're being attacked from the front and from the rear. Which should... really dishearten them. They're shaken. Come on. Come on, come on. Wow. Carboneers are not very good against irregulars, it appears. They're wavering. Why? Come. Chase them down. Come on. Actually, maybe I should attack them. Maybe I should attack them just, just, uh, just with my carabineers. Just go in like that. Yeah, let's see what happens. Chase them down. You're on horses, right? There we go. That's better. Is that how you're supposed to effectively use them? Have them shoot and attack as they're charging them down? Yeah, that's a much better use of them. I actually lost a unit of lancers in that battle. Because they're too dumb to actually go around things that are going to kill them. I want my troops to to listen to me, but I don't want them to listen to me that literally. Like that's just that's just silly. But I've built a drill school in Venice Ordnance Factory in Naples. Yes. Unit recruited. I have a brig in the Mediterranean. Nice. Let's send these guys there. Let's switch them out. But then let's put them back there to keep in the massively military Naples. How on earth does Morea support this much military? Like, that's completely ludicrous. For that much cavalry and infantry, that's completely insane. There's no way, no way Morea can, can afford that. Absolutely no way. But, whatever. Maybe they'll eventually go bankrupt? I have I have no idea. But, there, let's repair that military. Let's... My army, jeez. <sighs> Send them back. Let's replenish that. I need another unit of... Of what was that? Lancers? Ulans. Yeah. Um... And then infrastructure, do I want to construct anything? How's my research? Oh good, I can start getting Caden marching, fire by, ooh, fire by rank. Okay, Verona. The Verona is my military people, right? Yeah, so let's actually continue building the sextant, and then we'll start doing fire by rank, which is beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Cadence marching, improved map movement speed. And then I can do the socket bayonet. Oh, it's 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 good fun. It's good fun. Um, yeah. So that is all of that. Is there anything else that I can build this turn? Because this will definitely be the last turn before I before I end the episode. 
anything else that I can build. No little construction icons above anything. No. Okay, that is that. So I'm Karhum, the Great Bear of the North. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've seen, please like, please share, please subscribe. Please comment, please do all those wonderful things. In fact, the reason this episode is even happening is because Cooper Moore had specifically asked for, uh, in another one of my channels, in another one of my playlists, rather, when this episode would come out. So this is the episode for you. Here you go, buddy. Uh, I hope you like what you see, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.